Any reason is a good reason to sing. And uh, a good Korean would never let it pass. <laughs> Welcome back to another episode of Living Korea. I'm your host, Crypto Father, and I'm accompanied, accompanied today by my beautiful wife and my son, ah, Liam. And today we, we were playing, Liam and I were playing in the park getting some exercise, and uh, since it's afternoon, we sporadically decided to uh, get out and into the mountains and get some chow. And I thought, what would be a better way of getting some food than uh, heading out into the mountains here and drive an hour to get it? So we're gonna drive down into the uh, what are referred to as Korean Alps uh, near the city of Anyang or rather town. It's in the um, in a mountainous region uh, and it's very nice. There's a little restaurant that's uh, up on the side road uh, that serves noodles and uh, all kinds of other goodies. So we're gonna head down there. When it hits you, yes, 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 you. When it gets you, yes, 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 yes. When it gets you, yes, 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 yes. So after a 40 uh, odd minute drive, we made it up this windy mountain road. Um, it's not as busy as I thought it would be, well, or maybe not as busy as I, I knew it wouldn't be. Um, and it's pretty quiet here, as you can see. We're in the middle of mountains. Uh, I know by by some standards these mountains are not really mountains i don't really see them as mountains because uh you've got alps and you know the rocky mountains even bigger but uh i guess these are pretty high mountains for korean standards oftentimes many places you get out and uh, there are restaurants like this uh they're small and they usually tend to serve um, either noodles or or some other dishes made of um, acorns um, and some other things and uh, my wife just got some um, odeng. Let's go inside and eat and I'll show you a bit around. Odeng or fish cake is uh, a Korean favorite. It's just uh, pounded down fish. This I call them the, the, the seafood hot dogs. This is dong dong yeah, it's just pounded down um, fish stuff. I don't know what it could be. Um, it's boiled and it's served on a stick with some soy sauce and uh, it's very delicious people like eating it um, as a kind of quick snack because it's you know I guess as junk food goes this is pretty good I guess it's fish mm, very tasty Liam how is it? There's a Korean dish called, a um, uh, Korean alcohol called Dong Dong Ju. It's made of rice, uh, fermented rice, and uh, we used to drink it on a regular basis. But since I quit, my wife is a lonely drinker now. And of course, no meal goes without kimchi. So there is kimchi. Really delicious. The dong dong ju is made by hand, which I don't know exactly what it means. People take rice and squish it and... No, that just means it's not factory made. People usually make this in their homes on their own, uh, small businesses. There are some, uh, I guess, larger manufacturers <laughs> that make dong dong ju en masse. But uh, when you go to come to restaurants such as this, small ones, the dong dong ju and the makali that's made, it's usually made by the people themselves in their home. Um, which tends to be a lot better. Uh, I guess it's kind of like the home brewing of beer back home in Canada, you know, microbreweries. This is kind of like a microbrewery of Dong Dong Ju. Members of the Information Society. That's a difficult question because I didn't know we were in the Information Society.
Go with your friend Liam, he'll show you around. Are you Kangaji this, Sayo? Um, no. Can I Kangaji? Um, with you. Come here. He'll show us a puppy. <laughs> so the, the girl is going to show us her dog, and the dog's name is Odeng, which is basically fish cake. The dog is called fish cake. The electricity for this building is run on a uh, fuel generator <clears throat> because there is no electricity in the mountains here. So. Uh, if there is a restaurant like that, it's, it runs on gas, which probably is not great for the environment, but uh, that's what you have out in the mountains. So here are our main dishes. Noodles. Kalguksu. There are mushrooms. What is that powder stuff on top? So the noodles have uh, some mushrooms and uh, a little oh, bit of dried seaweed sprinkled on top with some sesame seeds and of course vegetables eat your mushrooms little man kids and their vegetables it just never stops my son refuses to eat mushrooms for some strange reason my wife and i both love mushrooms don't we, honey? See? She's speechless. That big slab of wall be right behind me right there is a place where uh, many years ago, my friend Deidre Madden and her brother Finn Madden came climbing. Um, it was a fun, fun trip. That's also the same place, I believe, where many years ago, um, my friend's boyfriend broke his leg coming down. Um, there's a bunch of rocks, if you see here, that crumbled down off the mountain at one point in time. And I guess climbing over them, he tripped, fell, and <clears throat> broke his shin bone. Not the best place to go. <clears throat> because this path is pretty devoid of cars, a lot of people use it as a good way to go out for bike rides. A little bit of traffic. <laughs> Since the building of highways uh, rerouted a lot of the um, highway traffic away from these roads, from the mountain roads. Um, uh, these roads tend to be used by bike bikers as well as motorcyclists. Hey, your motorcycle coming up on a regular basis. Bike, uh, cyclists and motorcyclists uh, use these roads um, which are now oftentimes quite um, well not empty maybe on the weekends a little bit busier but uh, during the weekdays um, there's hardly any cars here on weekends a lot more Koreans come out a lot more people come um, you know people like the outdoors Korea is a very mountainous region so um, uh, you know people love their country they love being outside um, and so um, places such as this get pretty full on the weekend but still as you can see there's only a few cars moving up and down um, and I can hear in the background the highway is pretty busy so highways are packed while these mountain roads are pretty empty people want to just just want to get to places quickly and then enjoy their time not being stuck in traffic so yeah. 
Buses are meant for older folks who go on either, you know, just hiking trips or whatever, and uh, they do that. Then they stop, uh, unload, have picnics, drink, and since Koreans love singing, they often sing. These guys set up a karaoke bar, so let's go have a look at that. So we've eaten our food, plates are empty, uh, the hostess brought us some um, an apple, some coke and some coffee um, simply because, I don't know, our Liam was playing with her daughter and she came over to say hello and we talked a little bit, or well, my wife and her talked a little bit. Um, but it just shows the, the hospitality people kind of provide on random places. Um, oftentimes if you see people uh, camping or picnicking out in the mountains, if you if you walk by or stop by, oftentimes people will call you in and, and offer you some, I don't know, coffee or, or something. Uh, if you see old ladies selling fruit or vegetables on the side of the road and you go, um, you know, have a small conversation with them, oftentimes they'll, they'll throw in some extra veggies or some extra fruit into your basket, you know, on top of what you purchased. Three, two. That's gonna be it for this little video. Hope you enjoyed another little piece of uh, living Korea. Um, and I hope to see you in the next one. If you enjoyed this one, please make sure to like the video, subscribe to our channel and uh, leave a comment in the section below and of course click the bell button um, to get notifications of upcoming videos so until then crypto father is out <laughs> bye bye